Hey everyone! Today has been a pretty good day. A little eventful this morning. Like, Rayla woke me up at like 5 in the morning and, uh, yeah. And so, like, the first five hours of the day kind of drug on, but it wasn't bad. We just kind of hung out and just waited for the day. Um, Brayden had a baseball game today that was supposed to start, like, he was supposed to be there at 1245. It was supposed to start at 145. And... It was the wrong time. The game actually started at 345 at a different field. Luckily, the field was close by. So um, they did awesome. I think it was 11 to 2. Um, they played really, really well. Brayden tried batting with his head. Thank goodness for the helmets. Um, but yeah, he uh, the pitch came in and he ducked down and it just knocked him right in the head. He didn't duck low enough. And he was almost laying down. So... Um, I, he probably should have jumped instead of ducked, but yeah, it was pretty funny. They had a lot of fun. He's exhausted. Rayla is now up in bed sleeping and, uh, I figured it'd be a good chance real quick to, um, answer a question that I seen in comments a couple times, which is how would I have changed my approach, um, based on the bear analogy that we discussed in the last video. And it's it's more of a mental approach and mental preparedness and i think had i had that conversation with my bereavement counselor i think i would have taken more time to stop literally barefooted maybe even probably outside just to put my feet um, like i mentioned in the previous video on the ground and breathe and not allow the immediacy of everything to take hold of um, how I was feeling. I feel like we did an okay job at, at slowing things down, looking at the best and being positive, but on an internal place, I think if I could have slowed things down in that way um, and recognized what was coming and accepted what was coming in a different way that I think I could have been more present in in other ways at other times. Like I feel like all the times I needed to be present, I was present. I was there for Sarah. I was there for the kids. I was there when I needed to be. Um, but looking back, I think I could have been there one for me. I think doing that would have, would have helped me um, be, take care of myself a little bit better during that time. Like, I think I did a good job. Um, but there's there's just a mental preparedness there that I think would have helped um, just take those couple minutes to breathe and, and recognize, I think, differently what was actually happening. And um, the, the, the cancer was killing Sarah and that we were fighting for survival that entire time. Now, if you think about it in that way, then I think you can fight better, <laughs> smarter, maybe. Um, like, like I said, and I'll always say, we, we wouldn't have changed anything about what we did, um, the path we took medically. But I feel like if I could have been in a different mental space, that I might have been more helpful throughout the process, uh, maybe more helpful to my family, my extended family, Sarah's family. Um, I don't know where that would have, like what that would have changed. I just think having a, that mental, uh, that mental visualization, I just feel like it could have changed the approach in that respect. So I know it's kind of kind of a vague answer, um, but it's it's hard I think to express, um, like because I don't have any regrets. We we lived our life the best that we could with the knowledge that we had, um, and I just think oh, there's a skydiver. Now it's behind my house. I can't see it. That's pretty cool. Um, what a beautiful time to skydive. Like the sun's setting just right beyond my house. Um, so it's probably gorgeous from, from up in the air. Um, but I wouldn't, like we wouldn't have changed the choices that we made. That, that wouldn't have changed. We made the best choices we could. Um, I just think like different 
being prepared mentally, hindsight's always twenty twenty, right? Being prepared mentally in a different way would have had me thinking about things in a different way and thus approaching things differently. So that's kind of what I mean. I can't really say that I would, would have done any different actions, right? Except for literally taking off my shoes and going out in the yard and standing out in the yard and taking breaths, which I've done today. <laughs> um, and I'm making sure, especially in the morning and the evening, um, that I, that I'm doing that. I'm kind of grounding myself as the, uh, day gets started and day ends. And then in the middle, I'm trying to find a place just to recenter and refocus because things can get really busy in, in, in my mind, even if, if like I'm sitting around doing nothing, my mind starts spinning. And so then, you know, I still, even if I'm not physically doing a whole lot or if the kids are being easy for the day, um, I still have to kind of do that mental recentering. So I hope that answers the question. Uh, if not, let me know in the comments and, and, um, if, yeah, and if you have any other specific questions, ask and I'll, I'll try and, um, try and respond as best as I can. So some of these things are hard to, hard to answer. And if in the next couple days I process this enough to give a better answer, I will, I guess right? So thank you so much, you guys. Have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are. And remember, as Sarah always says, be kind and make good choices. Bye.